everybody, this is Kathy Mann, Director of Instructional Services with Parkland School Division. I am sharing with you today how to access the online gradebook and what you can expect to see when you have access to that. Currently, our timeline for uh, live access to the gradebook is for the second term. That is when you can expect to see all schools uh, launching their gradebook. Uh, but teachers will be using and working with the gradebook up until that point. So uh, before you can get started with any of this, of course, you need to have an account. So an easy way to get to information on how to create your account is simply go to your school's website and click on this PowerSchool link. Here you will see a link to viewing account creation instructions. So this is really important that we do this first. You uh, will need an access ID and an access password. So if you didn't receive a letter from the school, it says here you can contact the school office and they'll send you an email with the information. And then you can go ahead and create that account. As well, this page also links you into the sign-in page. So this is once you've created your account, um, you can access the gradebook from there. And just also so that you're aware, PowerSchool does have an app that you can download on your smartphone. You can get it through the Apple Store. You can also get it for an Android phone. And the only piece of inf information other than your username and password that you need to know is the division code. And that is there for you, NKNC, just so that the app knows what division to point to to gather that information. So once you've got your account set up and you've logged in, um, here is what, this is what you will see. It doesn't look all that different from what you're used to, except for the fact that, of course, now we have grades and attendance showing. So you will see your child's name. This is a mock student, Dave Parkland. You've got links to emailing the teachers, and then you've got the, the letter grade showing here. And I can click on this. It is hyperlinked for me to drill down to see exactly what is going on with your child so you can see the due dates of assignments now mine are all the same date because i created these all on the same date for a mock classroom you'll see the category that the assignment belongs to the assignment name and any flags and to understand what these flags mean you just have to go to the bottom of the page here and we've got the icons which indicate uh, or the legend which indicates what the icons mean uh, this exclamation point that Dave had for his journal means that it's missing. So that tells me I need to get on his case and get that done. And then you can see here both the percentage score and the letter grade. And in case you're wondering about what those levels of achievement exactly mean, you can go to your school website, go to the menu for parents, click on the report cards link, and that will take you to some information about assessment and reporting as well as some description and percentage equivalencies for the levels of achievement. And if you scroll even further down, there is some uh, really detailed information about what um, the standards are at each level for uh, some important elements of their learning process. Uh, when you see that there is a, a dialogue bubble here, that means that there's been a comment made and you can access that comment through the view link. Um, sometimes teachers will uh, only provide a comment on an assignment if it's, if it's a, a piece of work that's in process, that's in a draft stage and they're not ready to grade it, um, or they'll include comments alongside a grade. Both are good pieces of information for you to have about how the learning is progressing. And something to just be aware of is how teachers will use the grade book for uh, different grade levels is going to differ, uh, as well as different subject areas. So for example, how a teacher in an early years classroom is going to use the grade book is probably a lot less frequent than say uh, a middle years or a high school teacher, just because of the way students show their learning and how the learning progresses. Um, in the early years, it's much more about the observations and gathering anecdotal information. So it does take longer sometimes to uh, 
uh, summatively assess those grades. And when I say summatively, I mean um, that that form formal assessment um, or traditional grade. Whereas in the high school or even the middle years grades seven, eight, nine, those teachers are gathering more frequent summative assessments. So you'll see more items being posted. And I know in the early years, um, there are lots of different ways, and not just the early years, but K to 12, there are lots of different ways that teachers are communicating progress. So it's really important also to know that it's not just about the grades, um, that it's about, you know, using the Google Classroom uh, look or Seesaw and looking at those exemplars of the learning and see how seeing how it matches against the criteria that is being used to assess. Um, so that is basically it, um, pretty quick and easy. So just make sure you've got that account set up. And if you don't have the information you need, contact your school. Uh, and hopefully you will find this to be a very useful communication tool. I guess the one other thing that I will mention when I'm thinking about calculation of averages as I'm looking at these categories, uh, also understand that not all of the categories are weighted equally. Usually they're not. For example, I've got products weighted more heavily than observations and conversations here. So it's just something to be aware of that if you you know, if you were to pull out your calculator and do an average of these grades that you're seeing right now, you will not get the same grade that I would just because I've weighted them differently. And that's just, um, there are some things that are worth more than others when we are taking in assessment information. So that's just also something to be aware of. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, please access that information when it's available to you. Uh, take care and have a great rest of your day. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.